Otherwise, you are most welcome again on my channel. And uh, we, as you all know that we are doing a history of English literature, 60 days series and 30 days we have completed, but hopefully we will go to 100 days. So we are doing is of Shakespeare and uh, we have three important writers in this is three S Q. You can see here, you can remember S Q for uh, Sydney, Spencer and Shakespeare, three important writers. So first is uh, Sir Philip Sidney. In this video, we are going to talk about his important works. First is Arcadia, which got published in 1590. And second is Apology for Poetry, which got published in 1580. This is very important word, uh, work to analyze because this is, uh, I can say you, this is important point for literary criticism. Or you can say starting point of uh, literary criticism in English literature and uh, it all started with some ideas by Stephen Gossens. His work was The School of Abuse which got published in uh, 1579. So 1579 is a starting point somewhere uh, in literary criticism. So that's why it is important to study. I have made a separate video. For apology for poetry, you can uh, check out my channel and uh, video in videos you will find a long video of 10 minutes for uh, this because this is important video. So I earlier made the video on this topic, a detailed video. So go and check out that. Do check out that. Okay, and uh, I will put the comment in uh, in comment box. What link? Let's talk about the another one, Arcadia, which got published in 1590. Uh, 1590 and its name was the full name subtitle sometimes uh, Countess of Pembroke's, Pembroke's Arcadia and Arcadia what is Arcadia Arcadia is a place name of place Arcadia okay so here are some important things about Arcadia sensational treatment of sex politics violence cross-dressing so these three four things you will say uh, there are five books and uh, there is a story about uh, the daughters, Pamela and uh, Philo Clay. Philo Clay. P-H-I-L-O-C-L-E-A. And uh, this is a story about, uh, you know, love, affairs, elope, marriage and uh, conspiracy. They conspire to murder someone. So don't you think this story matches Hamlet and uh, the Winter's Tale? Uh, they want to elope. There is love triangles. So that's why it has influence on uh, Hamlet and uh, the Winter's Tale. In this way, sometimes uh, questions are asked. Uh, Hamlet is uh, influenced by the story by Philip Sidney's Arcadia. So the connection of Arcadia is with Hamlet. Connection of Arcadia is with the Winter State. Are you getting? Hopefully you are getting. And five books. It has five books. Characters. Important characters. You can uh, go through the Wikipedia and you will find the whole story of this book, Arcadia. You should study at least one to three stories. Uh, and uh, then you will come to know about this story. So wife is Gynesia. And daughter's formula and important is formula. Duke of Arcadia, name of uh, the father or king is or duke is Basilius. Now the third book is Astrophel and Stella. Astrophel and Stella, it is a collection of uh, sonnets. Here the important uh, questions for uh, usually, usually asked for TZT and PZT. Okay, if you are going through uh, these works. Just keep in mind what level you are preparing for. Like you are preparing for TZT or PZT or if you are going for UGC net. Okay, you need to go in depth. You need to remember all these things and these the context between each and every book. So here we have uh, some, you know, description. So what is important to analyze in this work, Estrofel and Estrella? which got published in 1593. Imagery and vividness you will see in this work. Two words are taken from uh, Greek. 
First is ester. You can see esterophyll. Ester means a star and phil is used for love work. Here the theme of the work is love and desire. Whose love for whom? Here uh, esterophyll. Esterophyll is Sydney himself and Penelope is Stella or Stella is Penelope. Now Penelope has two names. One is Penelope Rich because she gets married to Robert Rich. She is wife of Robert Rich. Remember this thing. And uh, Lady Penelope Deverus. So sometimes you will get this name. Sometimes you will get this name. Kabhi aapko ye wala naam milega. Lady Penelope Deverus and Penelope Rich. Actually, kya hai ki jo Sydney hai, wo inke pyar mein pagal hai. Aur unhone jo likha hai, wo Penelope ke liye likha hai. Okay, aur Penelope ki actually mein jo hai, shadi ho chuki hai Robert Rich se. Next thing, next important thing is, he has followed Petrarchan rhyme scheme. Okay, sonnet scheme. So, this is all about uh, Sir Philip Sydney and today's class. Hopefully, you liked the video. If you liked, please thumbs up. And uh, write down something in comment box so that I feel motivated. And uh, if you have any suggestion, you can write down in comment box so that I will improve. And I'll try to add in next video. Hopefully you have watched 30 all videos and you learned something from the videos. If you learned, write down in comment box, give your suggestions. And what you can do, you can do uh, one share. You can uh, share this video to someone. And bye-bye, take care.